the lower one, it says left, and this is Ultimate Alchemy. Hope everyone's having a day, I'm having a pretty amazing one myself, but uh, in between episodes, you can kind of see here, I did some stuff, so let's kind of take a look, see, kind of look around, see I built myself a little platform here, it's just a circle with some little fancy little pathways going off in different directions, in time I'll probably have a little area here, maybe one for Britannia, another one for multi-blocks and machines that way, and probably another one maybe for Thongcraft or something else, maybe I'll put Thongcraft and Britannia, but uh, we'll have different areas here. And my main system and my main building will be over in this direction. So, yeah, I kind of just built this. I destroyed the platform down beneath. You may notice as well that it is uh, daytime. and It's going to be staying daytime. That sun is not moving at all. The way I kind of did that was with this. There's a command you can run. Uh, slash game roll. Uh, game roll. Do daylight cycle. False. So the caps matters. All that stuff matters. But it basically turns off nighttime because there's no mobs in this pack. There's really no reason to have a day and night cycle so i just decided uh to not have it so i don't have to sleep in the middle of videos which is something i keep having to do so that is pretty cool uh, i did some more ender pearls and stuff like that i'm trying to think of what else i did here oh over here too i was pumping in charcoal before and people kind of pointed out like why are you doing that and it's just old habits die hard <laughs> and i switched over to just do oak wood for power because uh yeah same thing man it's just uh no no point using charcoal at all so I did kind of get rid of that. Uh, over here, too, I think I set up a few more recipes. So I got, like, hoppers, wood. Oh, I should show that, too, actually. Let's go down here. The recipes are less important. Down here, I got rid of all of our automation with the crafters. It was really messy. I'm not a big fan of those crafters, I have to say. They're just lag machines just waiting to happen. Uh, down here, I just went ahead instead. I got the item barrel. So I got wood, I got stone, and I got cobblestone. And I just have external storage here. So if we actually look in the system, I think it shows that I have 100 million of all those kind of items and then i can just auto craft from that point on i can just do it that way i don't have to bother with crafters any of that jazz um and that's pretty cool so i do have like recipes for compressed stone stuff like that all the compressed materials i don't have a way of grinding down uh the sand or gravel yet but we have several thousand so i'm not even worried about it but at some point i'll put up a dedicated uh pulverizer that that i handle that also in here, it came to my attention that we can go ahead and do all these alloys. So we set up these two yesterday. Then I found out we could do stuff like bronze. So I set that one up. We could do electrum. We could do gold in here. So we don't even need to use the smeltery. We can completely bypass that. So tin and glowstone in here. Bam, got a gold nugget. Uh, two iron and obsidian. Boom, there's our lead. And then even silver. So iron nugget and glass. That'll handle that. The only thing I found out, and I crashed several times before I realized this, if you leave the flux slot on for these alloys that don't need a flux, refined storage actually crashes the pack when you try to make those recipes. So make sure the flux slot is off. It will crash your pack. And uh, yeah, that is definitely pretty awesome there. I made some more crafters and stuff like that. And uh, that's pretty cool. So anyway, we got a good start here. We're kind of set up for, you know, success to kind of move forward. And uh, what I want to get into today is probably going to be um, getting into kind of the main quest. So we're going to go to, I guess, Clay here. Take a look, see, not Clark, because I don't know what that is. And uh, probably the first thing we're going to work on is this grass block. And actually, before we do this, let's have a little chit chat, a little powwow. Okay, this pack, it is a beta pack. This is a straight up beta pack. So you're going to run into things that aren't intended for you to be able to do. And a lot of people are trying to tell me to do, you know, like lapis. I'm going to show you guys lapis and kind of make you understand what's going on here. So lapis, a lot of people are telling me. The way I usually get lapis in most packs, I do this in lots of packs, right? So you go ahead and make the lens of color. Take that, you make the uh, the atomic reconstructor. Then you just make some kind of dye. I mean, a dye we could make, uh, for instance, I think is, um, like, I think I did in the last one. Black pigment, bam. You can start zapping that, <laughs> you know what I mean? Or just make bone meal, whatever. It'll just kind of cycle it through all the different kinds of dyes. It'll even give you lapis and bone meal, which is kind of a bypass in this pack. Because if you look at uh, Lapis, I'm just going to show you Lapis and show you how big of a unintended loophole this is. So Lapis, let's go over, actually, let's do it this way. Let's go to content. There we go. Check out the content tweaker recipes. These are all the recipes he's added kind of manually. But if you go over here, you'll see to get uh, Lapis, so this is the essence of true blue, you actually need polished dorite and uh, then that essence of true blue in a fluid transposer. And then you finally get your Lapis. But to get that essence of true blue, you need essence of royal blue. To get that essence of royal blue, you need to put that through a chemical imbuer with gold. And there you go. You have that step. But then we have essence of very blue. And then you got to run that through a fractioning still. Then you got to get this mildly blue. Yeah. See, this wasn't intended at all whatsoever. 
You're not supposed to have that lens of color. It is not intended in the pack. I will not be using it at all whatsoever. So people are telling me to use uh, the overclocker generator, stuff like that, uh, make bone meal, all this jazz. I won't be doing it. I'm going to be doing things the correct way, the way I think it was intended. So I'm going to go ahead and just do things and progress in that manner because I think it's just going to get removed. It's just going to get removed. And when the pack gets updated, anyone that comes along and plays this pack afterwards, all my content is going to be null and void. So I'm going to play it the right way. Do it the right way I think it is intended. Because even with dirt, there's a whole bunch. But uh, I thought I'd just cover that real quick. Because I'm getting a lot of just like negative con comments and stuff. Because I think there's... I know there's a couple other people playing the pack. And they're doing things in their way. They're fine to do things their way. But I want to keep my content open for everyone that's playing the pack. Both now and in the future. And I want to do it the leg legitimate way. Because I'm literally making Lapis is a seven machine process. Just kind of throw that out there. But anyway... Anyway, let's kind of get in the dirt and uh, yeah, get some stuff done and uh, stop ranting. And okay, let's get to work here on our grass block. So to get our grass block, we need compost. To do that, we're going to need, I guess it's over here. We need to take all these leaves and kind of turn them into compost. And we've got to get it that way. We make the leaves with saplings, so not a big deal. Then we need to make the dirt. So to make the actual grass block is that and dirt. But we have to make dirt first. To get dirt, we need gravel and a carpenter with liquid dirt to do the liquid dirt. We need a still with the water of life and liquid dirt. To get the water of life, we need a fermenter with water and uh, compost. So, yeah, we're going to have to get this done here and some gravel. So let's kind of grab everything we need. Let's go ahead and grab. It starts with the fermenter, right? Let's go ahead and grab that. Could need uh, quite a few of these. I'll just grab a couple extra. It won't hurt. Let's kind of do that. Drop that off. Uh, we'll need some stone gears. Uh, we got the easy recipe. Sweet. Let's do that. <laughs> and did grab... Our fermenter. Next thing we'll need is probably a still. So let's go ahead and grab one of them. And that's pretty cool. Then we're gonna need, I think, two carpenters that I saw. Let's go uh car carpen. Carpen. There we go. Carpenter right there. Because <laughs> we'll need a couple of iron axes, so we'll get two of them, and then we'll need two crafting tables. That is not a crafting table. Could I have a crafting table? That'd be fantastic. And yeah, just get this going here. Did I craft two? I don't even know. <laughs> let's go ahead, get our two carpenters. And that should be everything we need there. We'll need some transfer nodes and stuff. So let's grab, let's just grab all this stuff. Let's stick with transfers now, <laughs> I think. Probably be the best bet. We'll just do it that way. And that should be good. Um, just think of what else we need here. We'll need some water. So let's go ahead and grab some ender tanks because uh, that's the easiest way. Uh, we'll need a transmitter for power. So we'll grab that. Uh, transmitter? Did I grab them? I already have those. And uh, anything else we need here? I don't think so. Oh, yeah, gravel, obviously. Let's go ahead and grab gravel. And uh, we have to make some compost as well, so that'll work. We'll just grab one stack right now. And uh, what was the other thing I said? Compost. Let's go uh, saplings. Kind of grab some of them. Let's organize my inventory first because it's a mess. <laughs> and uh, we got saplings right here. Let's go ahead and grab them. Let's go ahead and grab like nine stacks. Just so we can make a whole bunch of this all at once. And uh, that'll handle that, right? Won't have to worry about it. Sweet, sweet. Sweet, and get a whole stack going all at once. Awesome. Then grab a... What? <laughs> what just happened? I have no idea what just happened. Why do I have dead bushes? I don't even have dead bushes in the system. I have like nine. Did I get nine stacks of those? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine? I honestly have no idea. I wonder if he set it up that way. So you can kind of like loop it. Like if I go and just do one of these, what happens? that give me nine more? I can't tell. That is so strange. Yeah, it didn't give me more dead bushes there. I don't understand what's going on here. Huh. But it gives me an idea. <laughs> Let's go try this. Let's see. How would I do this? I would need... I need a filter for this. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go grab a filter. We might be able to kind of use this to our advantage. It looks like it's added, but it's just not working properly. Because uh, otherwise, why would you get a dead bush from that recipe? It doesn't make any sense. Although it does make sense logically that if you had saplings and ripped all the branches off them, you'd still have your leaves and then, you know what I mean, still have the sticks. So I, I think that might be something he added. Anyway, it might be just working weird because I'm using refined storage there. But anyway, let's go ahead and break this and break this. I think we can kind of loop this, <laughs> is what I'm thinking, and just do it that way. Then just have uh, leaves all the time. Then we won't have to worry about compost. Let's kind of see how this works here. May work or may not. Anyway, do I need that flat there? Yes, I do, because I need it to auto export. 
And then these will go through here, right? So I'll just kind of pump them in there. This will be our base sticks. Then it will go from here. Oh, we need a crafter. Let's go ahead and grab craft real quick. Get one of them. I need to get the wireless crafting grid. Anyway, let's go ahead and grab a crafter, right? I guess we only need one of those. And we'll head over here. This is such a weird thing, but anyway, put that there. So that's getting saplings now. And uh, we just need to set the recipe, right? So I could just go like that. And there's the recipe. Uh, where are the dead bushes going to end up, though? Will they end up in the output? I don't know. Let's find out. Let's go ahead, because that may make me change the setting here. So if I went like that, I need one more. Hurry up. <laughs> there's nine they're ending up in the wrong spot so i wonder if this is going to work here i'll let that go for a second the main thing i do want to do before anything though is pull out those dead sticks and pump them right back in here we just have a loop going right now let's keep producing that no matter what so let's grab a transfer node kind of pump you right there go ahead and grab that i'll uh, we'll need a i guess just a single dead bush here do that and uh pump that make sure it's on a whitelist put that in here Sweet, pull you out. You shouldn't be able to get in there anymore. Grab a couple pipes and uh, just loop them back. There we go. So that works. And there, the dead bushes, I think, are going to the right spot now. Awesome. <laughs> that is so odd how that works. Okay, I'm fine with it, though. And then I guess we would just need a transfer node then. Right? Let's go and... Not there. I need it on this one. And then put that into the drawer. And I just need to make sure leaves are in it. So let's kind of grab leaves real quick. Just do that. What just happened? It tried to place it, then made it disappear? Okay. Anyway, we'll print that. It's normal. And uh, yeah, we got a leaves. We already got seven, three of them. And, uh, that's pretty cool. That is an odd little mechanic I was not expecting. Anyway, <laughs> we'll pretend that's normal. Let's go ahead and uh, grab our fermenter, right? So the fermenter, I think, is going to sit about here. And then this is going to have gravel in it. And it's also going to need compost, which I actually didn't make yet. Let's go ahead and uh, I guess we'll have to do it over here. Should have grabbed a crafting table. But anyway, let's go clear you out. Let's make some compost. So we should be able to just do that. Pump that on the system. We've got eight of them. So each one of these composts actually lasts for more than one craft. So I'll kind of pump it in here. Let's see, it kind of makes this bar red. I'm not sure how many recipes it works for, but it does work for several. But anyway, we'll pump that there. Make sure it's orange. And it'll start auto-exporting the water inside there, which is pretty cool. Then I go ahead and grab a uh, transmitter, I suppose. That's sweet. Maybe throw that, like, right here. Awesome. And then from here, we'll have to... So that's our water of life. It is making our water of life. That's what we want to see. You can see there. It's uh, not make the bar go down automatically. And then we need to put that through the still, right? So the still, then we need a transfer. And I need that to export, so I need it on that one. We're going to go ahead and throw that down. Stop organizing my bar, making things disappear. Okay, wait. Why did that say refined canola and stuff? Anyway, we're getting a liquid dirt, and every 50 millibuckets of that, I believe, turns into a dirt. So then we'd want to just, I guess, pull from here, right? Pump. Oh, no, we need a liquid one. I don't know why I did that. Let's grab you. Go ahead and grab transfer. Pump you there. Drop a carpenter start getting liquid dirt and we need another piece of gravel right that's how that works i think this is the step i guess we'll see here let's go ahead and grab another stack gravel if i was gravel where would i be right here there we go and uh throw that in the machine and see if we just get straight up regular dirt now that's what i'm expecting there we go it looks like it's working and awesome okay cool so i guess the last thing we need to do here is our last carpenter Although I need a different way to move the items, though. I'm going to need a filter, right? Because I need just dirt in this one. I don't need the gravel. So I guess I'll just use some piping. I guess we can just go, I guess, back here. I'll need another filter, would I? So let's go grab another filter here. And uh, let's do filter. I don't want to pull the gravel as well, because, well, we definitely don't need that. That is the wrong filter. Sweet. Right there. And I just want this one to pull just dirt, right? So we'll go ahead and grab all of our dirt. Go in here, grab a filter. Although I don't know if we even need to keep doing this. Maybe I'll keep this one separate because we can spread the grass naturally, right? So I don't even need to do that. I don't know what I was thinking there. I mean, I could keep just making grass if I want to, but I'm pretty sure we could do that with the acceleration wand. So let's just do it that way. Uh, kind of flick that. That will fill that up. And uh, I should just have to grab a single piece of dirt, right? 
kind of go like that, pop that in there. Isn't that? Oh, no, no, it takes compost, doesn't it? So it needs this, this, that, I think. Do that. Actually, I don't really want to even use the rest of that compost. I just want to use two of them. <laughs> Here we go. Because otherwise, why waste compost? Compost is a little expensive at this point. But anyway, we got our first piece of grass block, which is pretty awesome. And that'll just keep making dirt. I mean, I could automatically start pumping in gravel, I suppose, and this will just keep going. I just need to come back and put a little more compost in here at some point. But now that we have dirt, we can actually make compost a lot cheaper. Uh, I think it is this. So we actually grab, I think, saplings, right? And we just do something like that there. Drop that off. And boom. We got 45 of it, just like that. So now we can make compost way cheaper. We don't really need the leaves, but there's no reason not to do this now. Because it looks like it's a loop, right? So it's just going to kind of do its thing. Keep making leaves, and I don't have to worry about it. And honestly, it's, it's the easier way. I don't even have to bother with saplings, so I'll probably just keep doing that. But every once in a while, I will have to kind of come back here, do that, and make sure that has gravel. Okay, that works. I'm cool with that. Let's actually take half of that gravel, too, and uh, do it right there. Sweet. So I'm going to leave that for now. We do need some of that dirt. And then we're going to do a little trick here, which I don't know if this is legit. So, yeah, a little heads up here. Dirt. So there is a little trick here to do with dirt, and this has been in packs forever, so I'm not sure if it was missed, or if it's intentional, or if it's not. But even if it isn't intentional, all I'm doing is basically doubling it. So I took it all, I turned it all into coarse dirt. So what I could do here is grab a hoe, you can go ahead and grab one of them, doesn't really matter. Do that, and then just place it down, right? Just kind of just go, hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this. <laughs> so just uh, have all the dirt down. And then I can hoe it all, and it turns it back into regular dirt. So I don't know if he meant to leave this in or not, but again, this isn't a bypass. It's sort of, uh, it just speeds up, the, speeds you up, right? So you're doubling it up instead of just making one, although it does take another step anyway, so I don't think it's that big a deal. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now there is color, kind of two other loopholes to dirt, and I should show that. Let's go to dirt here, kind of check that out. So the other loophole to dirt, I saw this. You can get this dirt here. It gives us pulp biomass. You can actually just grind down fines and you get it right it takes eight a little expensive but not a big deal really and i think that was the easiest way at that point but you can also go ahead and grab this slag so if you had to get just the thermal slag i wouldn't call this one a bypass but you get to bypass this which usually would take you to blaze powder you don't need blaze powder you can go ahead and get slag another way actually from thermal the way you do that is this you can go ahead and grab an anvil go this way use this anvil you go to use on it check out the induction smelter you can see you can take an anvil and put it through induction smelter with a piece of sand you have a 50 percent chance of getting a slag now the thing that makes this a loophole <laughs> is that you get the exact amount of ingots that it takes to make an anvil as long as it's a you know non-damaged anvil you can get it all back so you just take those ingots pump them through a crafter pump them back through the induction smelter and you get infinite amounts of slag now this has been a thing forever just to get you slag it's just the way to get it but <laughs> uh with that you're able to make make the dirt so i'm not going to do it that way i think that one is a bypass i'm ignoring it there's also another one which is debatable let's look at liquid dirt i want to show this one as well liquid dirt there you go because i doubled it there with the course but there's a way to triple it and kind of loop it and make an infinite as well so if you take a piece of dirt and smelt it down um this is technically 50 milliliter buckets of liquid dirt and two pieces of gravel but you can take it now and smelt it down you get 144 millibuckets because it's a nigget and then take that and use that liquid dirt, combine it with gravel, and just kind of loop it. You just get, because you basically get almost three times as much liquid dirt out of it as you should. I think this one is actually not intended, just kind of bypass. I think this just needs to be kind of, you know, set so it's not a recipe. Because after this point, you don't have to. All you really need is the last stage, right, where you would just uh, turn it into dirt itself right here. And uh, you would need these previous ones. So I consider that one a bypass, but... To each their own until Tim updates the pack. I don't really know. Anyway, so that's that. We got our dirt. We've got our uh, all this stuff. So let's start throwing down some dirt here. I want to start bone mealing. So we are going to have to make some bone meal. I forget what the bone meal recipe was. Oh, yeah, we need to make uh, bog earth. Got to keep some of that dirt. <laughs> let's go grab this dirt here. Let's go. Bam. Head over here. Uh, make some bog earth. Sweet bog earth. And now a lot of people are going to say but you can make bone meal. Just using the reconstructor and the lens of color. Again, I won't be doing that. That is a obvious loophole that I'm not going to be using. So let's go ahead and grab you. Need one more bucket of water here. A little bit of problematic having it quite over here, I suppose. I should move it closer to my main base. 
Let's do that. Let's go over here to uh, make one more of these. Bam and bam. Awesome. And I guess we'll need one more bucket, but that doesn't matter. We'll just set it up over here for now. There we go. We got our, hopefully, <laughs> bucket of water. So to make this peat that we need to go ahead and actually make the bone meal, because that is what we need, uh, we need to not do this. I don't even know why I did that. Let's grab the actual bog earth. We're going to take that. We're going to throw that down right around here in a little circle. Go ahead and throw down some water. And then we're just going to use our acceleration one. And that's just going to speed up the process. Usually this takes several minutes. But if we break one of those now, we should get some peat. We take that peat and uh, go ahead, I think, find it with compost. And then we'll get our actual first bone meal, which is pretty cool. I'm just going to do the corners right now, I suppose. That's, that should be good enough for right now. Let's go ahead and make some bone meal now. So bone meal, let's go here. Let's go to bone meal. Right here as well. And uh, yeah, it's right here. So that is the intended recipe. Let's go ahead and grab them. Uh, let's uh, drop you off, drop you off. Try that again. Cool. <laughs> and I, I meant to do one more, but it doesn't matter. Uh, we got a stack of bone meal now. So basically we can start working on grass and getting seeds. That is what I'm kind of going for. Let's go ahead and uh, do that right there. Go ahead and grab some dirt. Get that going right here. And we just need to get all this uh, grass to spread, which happens to be, you know, we have an acceleration wand. And uh, we can make that go really fast, right? So we just got to go like that there. And uh, bam, look at that, man. We're just making all the progress. Then I'm just going to come down here and probably spend a couple minutes doing this. I'm curious about two seeds. So I know we're going to get some seeds here and get some different drops. The thing I'm not sure about, if, if the Ender Lily is in the pack, I'm curious about that. It's not something I would do set up right away, but it's a way to get Ender Pearls easier later in the pack uh, once we're kind of set up for it. We have to get some rich Fido Grow and stuff like that. Also, the Orchid, I think, is another one, which grows uh, Redstone. So definitely a thing. Like, I don't even know if we can get the Endstone to just grow the Ender Lily right now. I'd have to look it up. I have not looked at that recipe at all. I'm actually curious now. Endstone. Grab you. Check that out. No, we don't have a way to craft that, it doesn't look like. So, yeah, even if you found an Ender Lily, it looks like the only way you're going to be able to do it is with the uh, Photogenic. Uh, I think it's called a... Is it the Photogenic or Phytogenic? Anyway, oh, there's an Orchid right there uh, from uh, Thermal. So, yeah, we're getting Orchids. We're getting Cactus, Industrial Hemp, Flax. We're getting Seeds. We're getting Poppies. We're getting Coffee. Rice, so we can actually get into, hopefully, rice slime balls. Check that out. Sweet. Yeah, we can actually get into slime now, which is pretty awesome. And uh, I'm just going to kind of do this for a little while. And there you go. I went ahead and broke some more leaves, so we got a good amount of seeds here. I did find some more of the red orchids. I don't think I'm going to go that route for redstone. I just don't want to have to get into flux for that. But the ender lily, I do want to go this route. I do want to go to the point where we can just produce ender pearls uh, really easy. So we're going to kind of get that set up, I think. Uh, but we're going to have to do some work to get there. Probably won't get to it today. I also wanted to do sugarcane. Sugarcane, we don't even need the, fight, the rich stuff. We can just do regular Fido Grow. Kind of pump that in there. Then we'll have tons of sugar to be able to upgrade all of our uh, speeds of all our machines. Because right now they're going pretty slow. And that'd be pretty cool. I mean with the refined storage. I can go ahead and make the kits for these guys now. At least the first two tiers. I just haven't done it yet. So I went ahead and grabbed a casting bin. And Liquid Trans uh, Locator. The thing we need to make here is the, I guess, the photogenic. Uh, let's go. It's the phytogenic, isn't it? This puppy right here. To do that, we need dirt, which we have now. And uh, we also need alumium gear. The problem with alumium is uh, we need the blend. To get the blend, we can do energized glowstone. To get the energized glowstone, we need a magma crucible. So to get the magma crucible, we need some, well, netherrack. <laughs> to actually make the nether brick is what it's looking like to be. So I didn't see another route. Yeah, not at all. Anyway. So we're going to have to do that uh, to get the actual netherrack. It's going to be done in the smeltery with lava and a regular stone. So let's go ahead and make some buckets of lava ingredients. Let's grab them. Probably need about eight of these to get started. Hopefully we have enough buckets. I don't even know how many buckets I have in here, to be honest. Uh, we need eight, though, right? So let's go ahead and grab them. Let's go ahead and grab uh, some stone. We'll need eight of those. We only have 100, <laughs> 100 million. Let's do that there. And I did grab another basin, some more liquid translocators. That should be good. We'll have to get those smelted down too, won't we? So let's do that there, do that there. Uh, before long, I'm going to probably start looking at Batania as well. But I noticed to get the mystical petals, we actually need a grass block. And uh, we'll need um, silk touch somehow to kind of silk touch that block to be able to get it. Oh, or we could just make it. Why did I even think that? Yeah, we could just make it. I don't have to break it afterwards. 
Silk Touch, you need an Emerald, though, right? So, I think, right? If you go to... Unless he changed that recipe. I haven't checked this at all. You need a Silky Jewel, right? Yeah, we need an Emerald, so that'd be a little bit of step there. How else could we... Can we get uh, Silk Touch any other way? Me just kind of going off a rant here. Fucking Escalator. Uh, we need Lapis, though, and unless you cheesed in Lapis... And... Yeah, it's not an option. We can get the Enchantment of Chandra, though. That, those aren't hard to do. Sun Crystals are actually really easy. But the Lapis, we'll have to get to that at some point. The Lapis isn't hard, it's just a matter of setting up the seven machine chain. Anyway, let's go ahead and grab our Lava. Focus on Netherrack. Is that what, what we need? There's one other item we needed too, and I forget what it was. Let's go back to the Magma. Magma Crucible. Once we have this Magma Crucible too, we'll be able to make Lava without having to use those buckets, which is cool. But uh, anyway, we're going to need some kind of Hardened Glass. And if you go to Hardened, check that out. Go to here. You will see you can actually make that in the smeltery with liquid gas. I know that guy that drives some of you crazy, but anyway, liquid gas and uh, bolted obsidian. So we'll go ahead and grab some obsidian. Uh, let's grab like 12 of those, I guess. I don't know what the ratio is. I'm just going to kind of wing it. Then I'll come back and uh, some sand, right? So I'll handle that. So we should have everything we need for these two materials here. So let's go ahead and start throwing lava in. Just kind of throw that straight into the smeltery. Hopefully I don't have any of these turned on. Someone turned off. Off, off, okay. <laughs> Let's make a drawer, man. There we go. I got so many of these going now, it'd be easy to mess it up. Anyway, there's our eat there, and this is what we're going to use to actually make our uh, what is it called? The stuff this is supposed to be the nether rack, right? Let's go ahead and grab you. I meant to grab a user too, but I guess it doesn't matter. Let's do that. Go ahead and grab a liquid translocator, pop that there, pop that there. You don't have to start pumping that in, and we could probably help that along. Probably pretty easy. And once we have, you know, eight of these, we can just go ahead and switch on to the other material and get our crucible. And uh, yeah, just kind of move on in life, man. <laughs> I have to say, I'm really enjoying this pack. It's been uh, different, right? So you guys don't really see it. If you're playing the pack, you understand. You spend a lot of time looking at JEI. It's almost like, um, I won't say Dora the Explorer, but you're just trying to figure things out. It's like a Weird's Waldo uh, for, for a pack, right? So you're not really sure exactly what route you're supposed to take. And then you're trying, if you're like me, trying to dodge the ones which are obvious uh, loopholes which were not attended. And then, yeah, it's just, it's a weird, it's a different little pack compared to the handheld packs for sure. But anyway, let's go ahead and grab them. Let's throw them on the ground because we don't like netherrack. Anyway, let's do that. And probably turn you off real quick. Do you. And what is this one? This one was the, yeah, I don't know how much this is going to produce actually. Don't know what the ratio is at all. Oh, the obsidian's not done. Kind of watch that for a second. Let it do its thing. And it looks like... Yeah, we could probably do about four more viscous. Or, sorry, four more obsidian to get the ratio right. I can't even remember what I initially grabbed. I should have probably kept track. Anyway, let's do that there. Awesome. And get that done. Go ahead and pop you in there. Hopefully this kind of takes everything out. If not, we'll probably just have a little extra obsidian. <laughs> there we go. That looks good. Nope, that's it all. And uh, we can just start casting that off, right? I'll probably do that on this table over here. Oh, why isn't that one actually casting off? Oh, it's blocks, right? So it'd be uh, this one. There we go. That'll handle that. That'll start getting us our glass. And I think we only need one to get started anyway. So let's kind of speed that up. And that's cool. So to get the Magma Crucible, we should be pretty much here, actually. We could just kind of take both of them, drop that off, drop that off. I'll be done in a second. Go to Magma Crucible. Check that out. Go here. Probably need a couple of these gears here. So let's do that. Probably need a reception coil. And we need another brick, which we'll have in a second. But we'll need a machine frame. So we'll pop you off. I handle that, man. Looks like we got pretty much everything. wonder if they're done. They are sweet. So it looks like we have everything. So we have a Magma Crucible. We got the basic one. We just take that puppy. Probably pop it around here for now. It doesn't need a crafter under it. If anything, at some point, I'll probably do a exporter here with stone. So we could just keep making lava. Probably be the best bet. But anyway, we can make our energized glowstone now, I think. So let's grab... What do we need here? We need some glowstone. How much does it take to make a bucket? I can't remember. Do that. It is... It'd be four. So I'd be able to take four energized glowstone. Kind of pump that right here for all that matters. Get that going. Speed that up real quick. <laughs> Although we're running low of power. Definitely going to have to upgrade these soon too. 
so they can run faster. I just haven't bothered with the kits. We can do the first two tiers really easy. I just haven't got to it. I mean, it's kind of priorities, right? <laughs> My priorities are, aren't always good, but they're usually focused on progression. Anyway, let's kind of go there. Although I get progression faster if I just go ahead and get this done. There we go. So we get a bucket there. I don't think we can bucket straight out of that, can we? Let's go ahead and grab a bucket here. I could just go ahead and make a tank or something. Bucket. Oh, oh I already have eight of the bomby. <laughs> yeah, you can't do... Oh, you can do that. Okay. So to make the actual lumium, let's kind of check that out. Lumium. What were the ground down materials? We needed a pulverized silver and three tin. So let's go ahead and grab tin. You can go ahead and grab three of them. And we'll need a silver. Kind of get that done, right? Silver. Grab one of them. Probably run those through a pulverizer really quick. It looks like we're making the progress, man. We're just getting all done. <laughs> Pretty sweet. There we go. That's cool. And then just the silver. Get that one finished. And uh, we should be able to make this blood now. So let's kind of figure that out. That is the wrong one. Why is there... Did it give us the wrong stuff? Wait a second. Lumium blend i'm hoping that's right yeah okay I, I, maybe i just missed the recipe wait, wait that's good there we should be able to we can run it through induction it just looks like only induction yeah it looks like that what is that herded lumium glass don't need that so we'll just run it through the induction here we'll need i guess four pieces of sand that's what i think is what goes with it so this one actually needs a flux but i don't think it matters that much i think we can just do that right no work yeah that's cool Anyway, we got our Lumium, which means we can actually make our gear and uh, work towards the Phyto. So let's go to the Phyto. Check that out. We need four of that. We needed uh, two copper gears. Let's get them done. Going to need another machine frame because machine frames are live. I should just set up the recipe for the machine frames with all the ones we're making, to be honest. Let's do that. And uh, we need a reception coil. And uh, I guess we need our gear here, right? So we just do that now. And, uh, oh, missing the dirt, man. <laughs> let's head over here and hit. Got to grab our last piece of dirt and get into the stack of them. I did throw some more gravel in there too, so we got a good amount of dirt. Do that and that. Awesome. And uh, we got the Fido. So that is really cool. So we're not going to get into this today. We're probably going to start off and work on that one tomorrow. But uh, we're going to start working on being able to grow all our plants in here and kind of getting that done. So that is pretty cool. But uh, I think I'm actually going to wrap this video up here. I think that's probably a good idea. So as always, if you guys like this video, please hit that like button. If you really liked it, hit that subscribe button. It is always appreciated. Well, you guys all have a good one. I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.